Hi fellow YouTubers, this is Ryan, QRFTactical.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about making your own snap caps out of whatever size bolt that you happen to have. Uh, I was looking to uh, purchasing some snap caps and they're not they're pretty expensive. I mean relatively expensive. And very well I reload and so I could, could make my own snap caps should I want to. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need however many number of bullets uh, that you're going to make for snap caps and casings. Now these are pre-fired casings once fired. I haven't done anything other than just run them through a, a tumbler and take the dirt and stuff off of them. I haven't decapped them or anything. We're going to go through that. You uh, you need a little bit of tumbling media. I'm using some uh, corn cob media here and you're going to need a die set for the size of bullet that you're going to make. We have our Lee single stage press here set up with our Lee 40 caliber Smith & Wesson resizing decapping die. Uh, we've run the ram all the way up with the shell holder in. We've run the die down until it touches the shell holder and secure the lock ring. want to make sure on this that you've got the Lee primer uh, tool in the ram because otherwise it won't knock the uh, the spent primers down into the collection tube. And on that collection tube I've secured just a little bit of tape because we want to catch these primers so that we can reinsert them after the sizing process um, which we'll do here in a, in a second so that there's something for the firing pin to strike on these um, snap caps that we're making. So the first process is just going through and decapping and resizing. I'm particularly using uh, these nickel plated casings because I don't shoot nickel plated casings so it's a really easy indicator for me that this is not a live round. Alright, so we're set up here for the next stage. I've got my flaring die in uh, and you'll see that it's got the, the Lee auto, prime, or auto charge thrower on there, the discharge. We're not going to use that for this, it's just on there to hold the, uh, the flaring flange inside of the die. I just didn't feel like changing it out. So the first part, thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the ram all the way up. Uh, I'm going to take one of these spent primers and I'm going to reinsert it into the Lee priming tool here. I really like this rather than the hand priming tool because it's one operation. Um, I'm not one of those ones that's going to sit there and prime a whole bunch of cases and just have them lying around. I prime what I need as I'm building. I think that's probably a safer bet. I'm going to insert my, my casing in. I'm going to reinstall the primer. It actually does a really good job of reinstalling the primer on that. And I'm going to do that for all six cases. Continuing to just reinsert a primer each time. Run the ram down. Give it a squeeze. Visually inspect it. See this. That's a good practice for any time you're priming whether it's snap caps like we're doing here or it's live rounds that you're building. The next stage is actually filling the cases with the corner cob media. I've got a few already filled here and I'm using just the standard scoop that comes with the, uh, the Lee. It's a 5cc and for me I'm just doing about a scoop and a half uh, of the corn cob media. I'm using the Lyman green corn cob media and that's really just to give it the volume inside of the case so that when you seat the bullet it's going to act exactly the same way as it would if there was powder in the case um, and also give you the same kind of a feel when you actually have the round in, in the, uh, the magazine you're getting relatively the same weight so that when you're practicing it feels like you're reloading the magazine drops the same way Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and insert the bullet seating die in the Lee press and we're going to seat these bullets. Remember you have to flare these cases so that's an important step or the bullets are not going to seat properly. Next step is actually seating a bullet in the die or in the, in the casing here. I've got some of these berries plated uh, 40 Smith & Wesson bullets. I actually like these a lot. They're a lot cleaner than cast bullets. Not as messy, but they have the same load data uh, as a cast bullet because they're just copper plated. They're not actually jacketed. 
So we want to insert that into our flared and filled case. It's the same process if you were doing reloading on any other case. You want to make it sure that the actual projectile is as straight as possible so that it seats properly in the casing. You're going to run the ram up. We've got our bullet seating die. It's already got it adjusted, but we're going to check it. We're going to run the ram down. I'm going to pull it out. We're going to take our digital calipers. Well, you can use dial calipers. I have those too. Um, make sure those are zeroed out. And we're going to check to make sure that it is 1.135 or thereabouts. We've got our casings completely uh, re reprimed with the dummy primers. Um, corn cob media is inside. Bullet is seated. I did not run it through a factory crimp die. It's a snap cap. I'm not planning on firing it, so why should I run it through a factory crimp die? Um, we do want to test it as far as weight. I've got some bullets here that I'm going to be using in a competition this weekend. And you notice that these are significantly different. Um, I'm using a cast bullet that I made myself um, with a brass casing as opposed to a copper bullet with a nickel casing. That's one way that uh, I'm differentiating the two. Uh, I've also, if you'll notice, on the backs of these, I'm going to flip the light off so it's easier to see, I'm using a little bit of red uh, from a permanent marker just across the back. This is so I can find it easier on the, the, uh, the ground after the shoot, as well as to differentiate them from the snap caps that we're making, which have completely blacked out. Anyway, it's easier to see that completely blacked out that on there. So that's, that's another way. 